I believe one day we're gonna all come online as content creators or just in general just meet up and talk about the certain type of stress that occurs when you get this certain type of anxiety about how you look and how you present yourself on camera because you don't have a PR team or or some type of you know person that's going to style you every day so you have to wake up and do it and sometimes you just don't feel like doing it sometimes you roll out of bed and you have a night shirt on well I mean you've taken a shower last night I'm not saying I'm dirty or nothing right okay but you don't know what to do and you're ashy anyway Hopefully by the end of this damn segment of this video, not this video in particular, but by the time I'm finished with this product project, you will see the finishing product and I will look 10 times better than how I am looking right now. So, yeah, I've been slacking on content. Yeah, I have been. But for a good reason. And like everyone who does this, it's for a good reason. Anyway, now since I have it, now since I have it somewhat together, not ask anymore, I want to start this project. I am going to be in the process of creating custom shoes number two uh, with the new idea i have all right now i look a bit better you know kind of twist up my hair a little bit check out the coils right so i said i was gonna wait two weeks to purchase things because this project is about the most I've ever spent on shoes so far in my life, right? It's about $500 for this project. But it's going to be worth it, bro. It's going to be totally worth it. <laughs> totally worth it. As people already know, you can go on to Nike.com and you can customize your own Air Force Ones. Check it out. I like the different textures on here. And I've always wanted the gum bottoms because they're pretty cool. I got some plain. Oh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to explain that in a minute when I get to here. But I got some plain gum bottoms off-white shoes. Put them in my cart. And I have some things on Etsy as far as eyelets that I want to add because... I'm going to be taking after the, uh, like the off-white dunks have the, with the second lace, the second shoelace form, or the second shoelace type of style, and I like that. I found some laces that go pretty well with it, so pretty excited though. The latest that it said that it should be here is the 22nd, so I should be able to design by Christmas time. Yeah. All right, and we're back with the package finally here. Nike's by me. Alright. I want a texture shot. I don't know if I can get that. See all the different textures on this. Like this feels like a different leather than here. Obviously the swoosh is a different fabric it's more like the laces we have the rubber bottoms 
I'm so excited, y'all. All right, so got them in the day. Yeah, got them in the day, and this is what they're looking like. Throughout the weeks, me waiting for them, I have gotten laces, the chunky rope laces. The not so chunky laces, but still kind of chunky laces that are blue. The brown laces that are considered the Travis Scott ones laces. For the second lace of the shoe, gotten all types of rhinestone color laces. Red, blue, purple, silver, rose gold black and rainbow colored laces for the fabric that i want to add to the shoe which i don't know where i'm going to add the fabric to because as i've now seen that uh, these are not all one type of leather shoe we have a suede fabric this is very soft very suedey, <laughs> very suedey fabric. Oh, yeah. And the second, or not the second lace, but these are the bungee strings that I'm going to add for the second string. And some eyelets, which are a bronzes color, bronzes, bronze color. Yeah. is a progress update <clears throat> segment of the video stuff that i decided not to do or i either failed at number one the suede fabric just didn't mesh right in my opinion with all the other different textures that i had already on the shoe um, it just didn't work or look well and plus the type of fabric glue that i got it just wasn't making it stick number two the eyelet puncher that i got this was not meant for the fabric of the uh forces that i have it's meant for very like hard or um thin fabrics i have like a croc felt plush type of um uh, leather shoe and this wasn't getting anywhere in the fabric so kind of dropped that and i picked up picked up a precision knife quirk screwed it in there and it created the eyelid holes that i needed number three of what you know i don't recommend you to do but i did i messed the shoe up I messed the shoe up and attempt before i even went out and bought the uh precision knife i tried to do it with a kitchen knife and i ended up slitting right through the shoe right there it's it's slit but it i can make it look good i can make it look better i know how to fix it guys so i'm just saying you don't want to end up messing up your shoes don't do that that's something that you don't want to do i'm almost finished i have the eyelets placed uh i have two eyelets that i have to put in here i'm gonna have um go ahead and stitch this up and i should go ahead and or i should be able to be finished by tomorrow should be able to lace them by tomorrow